20th century witness a veritable cult of rhythm. Eurythmia was the motto of artists, writers, physicians and philosophers. The cult of rhythm was closely linked to a process of social reform deep connected to a sort of physical culture that rejected the urban life and the industrial model of production, considered extremely harmful to people's physical and mental health. The rediscovery of the natural rhythm of the human body led to terrific and controversial experiences in dance and gymnastics, especially in Germany, which promoted the formulation of numerous systems of physical education. Themes like nature, culture, health and beauty were at the center of the scientific and political debates of Weimar's Republic. It was in this complex and ambiguous cultural context that Rudolf Bode emerged as a great scientific, philosophical and aesthetic leader for a new German society. Rudolf Bode was born in Kiel in 1881 under the auspices of Uranus, which perhaps drove him to become a pianist, choir master and composer. Rudolf Bode studied with Dalcroos at the Hellerau Institute, but he had no intention of becoming a music teacher. Bode, by the way, made harsh criticisms against the theoretical basis of Dalcroos' rhythmics, indicating that its system, set up on metric parameters, did not allow any space for spontaneity or deconstruction of movements. Everything was strictly controlled by the rhythmician sitting at the piano. Bode also believed that rhythm Contrary to Dalcroze's disciplinary austerity, had a more spontaneous, intuitive, primitive and even irrational quality, besides expressing a principle of totality that could purge modern society and education from their absurdities. Dr. Bolt says, The civilized man of today works and moves always with the exclusion of the trunk of his body. Only among the manual workers and peasants are the right working movements to be seen. To see entirely natural movements, it's necessary to watch animals and children before they go to school. After a few years of school, naturalness is spoiled for nearly all of them. Sitting for hours at the school desk, the torture of the writing lessons with the cracking of the hands and arms, staring into textbooks, have a most paralyzing effect. What is lost is not only the movement, but the essential vitality of movement, the secret combination of soul and body. Based on these arguments, Rudolf Bolt developed a personal version of Eurythmics and created the Ausdruck Gymnastik, Expression Gymnastics, a holistic manual of physical education published in 1922. It's possible to identify a substantial similitude between the Expression Gymnastics and the principles established by Dal Croze. But the true inspiration to Rudolf Bode was François Delsart's method of dramatic expression, the esthétique appliqué, applied aesthetics. Nevertheless, Bode was against any form of artistic intellectualism. The goal of expression gymnastics, unlike your rhythmics and their applied aesthetics expectations, was not to train musicians, singers, actors or dancers, but to contribute to the reintegration of man and nature and promote a return to the beauty of the pure and natural movement that could not be found neither in Dalcroze's plastic anime nor in ballet performances. Rudolf Booth says, The real dance is not a refined sport, but entirely opposite from it. Between sport and dance is expression gymnastics, for it contains both components, the stimulation of feeling and the volitional act. The so-called artistic dance we now see on the stage cannot very well be called dancing. In most cases, it's bad gymnastics and more the expression of an ego code than an overwhelming vitality. Usually the lack of real expression has to be substituted by technique. The body is not an instrument of the will. A technical knowledge which does not serve the purpose of the spiritual expression destroys vital feelings and thus the possibility of creative interpretation. Rudolf Bode's issues remain thought-provoking and full of life, even if it has been 100 years since the first edition of Ausdruck Gymnastik. Isn't that so? Anyway, many questions can be raised. Are Bode's harsh criticisms on the cross rhythmics make any sense? Or were they promoted by the jealousy and resentment he nursed against a man who achieved much greater success than his own? If Bode valued so much the vitality of the rhythmic phenomenon, why his compositions for solo piano are so mediocre, serving only as a metric accompaniment for gym classes. 
Due to the aesthetic philosophical principles of expression gymnastics were assimilated by the third high, did he manage to reach the high standards of his propositions and values in physical education scientific field? Did his disciples really understand the essence of his teachings? What Dr. Boone would say about the TikTok dances? Can we hear the echo of expression gymnastics in dance, music and physical education lessons in Brazilian schools? We do not know, do you?